Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Steve on Bama Salt Water. My buddy Malik, you've seen him on the channel before, he's parking the boat. He's over there uh, coming in. We gotta go pick him up, but we're gonna go do some running and gunning, looking for some mahi, king mackerel. You really never know. So I hope y'all can sit back and relax and enjoy this great adventure out on the Gulf of Mexico with us. And let's go have a good time. Y'all, so Malik and I got a little wet coming out here, but man, it's beautiful now. Y'all check this out. See that? We just pulled this trash out of the water, but look at all the growth on there. Some weird looking critters inside these shells, inside these barnacles. Oh, there, there just went a, uh, a crab. A crab, another crab. Where'd he come from, up here? I don't know, off the top, I didn't see him. Cause there's another crab there. We're gonna let him go. But we're gonna take this home with us so we don't leave it out in the, in the Gulf. But look at all these weird barnacles. They're living things, it's cool. <laughs> Pretty neat. There wasn't any fish under it. But at least we were able to take some trash out of the goal. Back out again. We didn't have much luck yesterday down out, out trolling pretty far. I kind of released my drag just a little bit. Those hooks on those are surprisingly strong. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, <laughs> I, think, I don't know, I think it's a red snapper <laughs> the way it hit it. Dude, this is awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, we decided to stop at this little reef where we're marking some fish. Drop some jigs down. Malik had just lost a nice fish and now I'm hooked up to one. We don't know what they are yet. I guess we'll find out here in a bit, right? <clears throat> uh. It's a snapper. Big snapper, look at this thing. That's a, that's a big snapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. Oh, dude, look at that. <laughs> Y'all just landed a beautiful big old red snapper. Look at that. Let's let him go on the descending device. He's kind of blown up. So we're going to let him go. Since he had some bear trauma, I try to show this when I release fish, but my priority is getting that fish down first. So hopefully this is showing on camera. I don't feel him fighting anymore. Reel up our weight. Yeah, he's not on there anymore. That's cool. We're just making drifts. We just found a random spot here. Dropping down a 160 gram Shimano flat fall jig. I tied on a strong split ring and a power swivel on there. And then this is 50 pound mono top shot. Star Plasma 2, six foot eight, medium, slow pitch rod. And a Shimano OSHA jigger. This is a 1500 size with 30 pound braid. Great little lightweight slow pitch jigging rod. We're gonna drop this back down again. Your, your bait's in that snapper. See it? Yep and see what we can catch. Y'all, there's a sea turtle right there, see him? Pretty cool. He just came up for some air and now he's going back down. Oh, oh, there's a fish. <laughs> if I can get this one up, it'll be two to one, won't it? Or two to oh. Aside from your hard tails, those count. Mm. Not quite sure what this is, but I'm pulling oh here it is right here it's the jack yeah i believe i don't know yeah i think it's a jack mm. <laughs> that just realized it got hooked yeah here it is pretty fish dude god man when they turn that head yeah, they got wow that's a good size one look at him he'd be legal in the season Let's see if we can get him up y'all mm. mm. There we go. Look at that, man. Look. All right, y'all. Didn't plan on doing a bunch of bottom fishing today. We came out for trolling because yesterday was kind of slow and bad weather. But look at that big old amberjack. Check that out on that Shimano flat fall, 160 gram. We're going to get them back. That would be a nice keeper in the season. It's just Gulf of Mexico fish are pretty highly regulated. I don't make the rules. Just got to follow them. Here you go, buddy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Something else pulling. Kind of feels like that grouper again. Be nice if it was a bee liner though. What do you think it is? Uh, red snapper. Grouper. grouper. That's cool, man. That is cool. Those are beautiful fish. <laughs> there he goes. He gone. <laughs> he just needed a little help going down. There's a fish. Oh, dang. Pulling pretty decent for now. I'm gonna bring this joker up, see what he is. 
Dude, it's another grouper. There's one behind of them, too. That's crazy, isn't it? How many grouper there are? Oh, man, they're so pretty. All right, grouper, go down, buddy. His stomach's protruding, so put him on that descending device. Try to get him healthy release. I think they say it's a 70% effective rate, which is better than none. There we go. Get after that joker, man. Oh, he's right here. He's going to be green. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you get him in if you want me to swing him in for you. Oh, there's one right behind him. Too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Good job. <laughs> Just dropping this little Shimano jig. It's a one and a half ounce back down again. Catching a lot of little groupers. Just too small to keep. But they are cool. Oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> this might be a trigger fish. It's got this rod bent down pretty good. This is nothing but dead weight, dude. See this? Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> the snag grouper. Good lord, how many of them are down there? That's a beautiful little fish. Look at that. I gotta let this grouper go. Malik's hooked up to a big AJ. And he swam back down. Good deal. You still got him on? Yep. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. <laughs> How? I don't know, but it's loose. <laughs> That's what you get for laughing at mine when it fell off. Yeah. <laughs> Put a whooping on a man. Look at it. Watch it. It's loose. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a real seat. needs tighten. That's a little bit bigger one than the first one. That's a little better. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's a much better one. Yeah, heck yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Dude, that's a beast. I'm gonna try to catch one here. Oh, got one. Mm. Yeah, immediately hooked up. Dude, they're so hard to catch. <laughs> he's not as big as yours was, but he's still pretty decent size. Oh, you hear that? He's burning my thumb. <laughs> Oh, I got him up quick until now. Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's, dude, these are decent size. Wow, he's so green. You hear that crap? Wow, dude. Bring them in the boat. Whew. Man, these things are such beast of a fish. They're so abundant out here. It's crazy how the season's weird, but get that sardine jig out. You can throw anything shiny on them and work it fast, and these big jokers will hit them. And these are fun size right here. There he goes. That's fun, y'all. That is incredibly fun. I think we're gonna, or I'm gonna drop down one more time, try to get a fish, and then we're gonna head back in while we still got a little bit of light. These things are, these things will wear you down. They're incredibly fun and exciting. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Shaped up. Okay. Did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like when the hook comes out when you get them in the boat. See, you can do it fast. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just trying to do it as fast as I can. Oh, dude, look, do you see them right below the boat? They just came out right oh, under the right boat. Oh, right there. Yeah, right under. But these are kind of difficult because you have such a short place for them to go before they get you in that structure. Yeah. There we go. Fish on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get that thumb drag. Come on. Golly, just pure power in these jacks. There you go. Yeah. There you went. <laughs> just pure power. They got so much strength. Come on. He's going to be pretty green. 
And what I mean by green is like not you. wore out. Wow, that's a good one. That's a little bit bigger, one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Yeah, I cut myself. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Malik. <laughs> that is a full-grown amberjack reef donkey. Look at that thing. <laughs> On the slow pitch rod, but we're doing it as a vertical jig. He would be a very nice legal specimen, but I'm going to have to get him back, and we'll come back and catch him when the season's open. What a awesome, awesome fish. All right, y'all. Let's jet him down. Wow, he sped off quick. <laughs> what an awesome trip. <laughs> that was awesome. We're going to end it on that note. Thanks for trying to hand line them up and get yeah. me. Just to recap, I'm throwing a Shimano flat fall jig, 160 gram in the blue sardine color. 50 pound mono leader, Shimano OSHA jigger, 1500 size with 30 pound braid, and a Star Plasma 2 slow pitch rod, six foot eight inch. Some of y'all may have noticed that the slow pitch rod, some of the guides are on the top, some are on the bottom. That's called a spiral wrap. It allows your braid or line to never touch that blank and also puts a lot less strain on your guides because these rods are really meant to bend a lot versus your typical fast action graphite rod. And Malik was over here primarily throwing the squid tracks. That was an awesome, awesome fun day. I think Malik, do you have a good time so far? Yeah. That was fun. You're actually able to get some redemption on some AJs. Yeah, they didn't break me off. Uh-uh, -uh, not that time on that little squid. Beautiful sunset. We're gonna make our way back in, pull that trolling motor. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We didn't do a lot of catching the first day. Actually, I don't think we did any catching yesterday. No. We had outrun some nasty thunderstorms, but today we trolled a little bit, not much luck, and came out here and had some fun jigging. Check that out. Look at this huge tanker coming in. If you watched my video last year, you see I fish under these anchored ships when they're out in the Gulf waiting to come into the port and catch a lot of ling off of them and bait. But this one's coming in a port or on its way to port. Man, that sucker is huge. Look at all the water it's pushing. So cool. Wow. Ain't that awesome? Time to keep on fishing. Look at that screen. It is loaded with some fish. Sitting in 91.6 foot of water, 92, give or take. Yeah, it was all right getting out here. I think the little bit of breeze and the, a lot of boat traffic made it a little more choppier than I was expecting, but the water's gorgeous. So let me show you the setup I'm using as always. For red snapper, it's really easy. You don't have to get all complicated. I'm running a 50 pound fluorocarbon top shot, about 10 foot of it connected to my 40 pound braid. This just helps with the brazier resistance coming down to a four ounce egg sinker, a strong Spro power swivel, and about four foot of 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. Go 7-0 Gamagatsu inline circle hook. And I don't snail it, you can, but my hookup ratio is just as good snailing as to not snailing. Now I am throwing this on a little left-handed Siegler small game. Like I said, 40 pound braid, and this is a six and a half foot heavy power fiberglass bottom fishing rod. Y'all, let's get on a cigar minnow and drop that sucker down. My beta choice, like I said, is a frozen cigar minnow. I let thaw out overnight. And all I do is cut the tail off so you don't have it spinning on the way down. That will prevent a lot of tangles when you're dropping this bait down. So let's go ahead and do that. And see if we can catch us one of those fish right there suspended in 40 to 80 foot of water. I'm dropping this down. I wanna make sure our leader isn't tangled up. I'm gonna drop it about halfway down because that's where I'm marking the fish. Oh, we just have our first bite on the cigar minnow. Kind of wasn't paying attention let that rod hit the gunnel. Oh, we're gonna get you up. Oh man, it's pulling pretty good. All righty y'all, this is fun right here. Let's see if it's gonna be a keeper. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, it's a nice one too. Check that out, that's a nice keeper red snapper. Boom first one of the day heck yeah it's nice not having to throw these back so once again i'm gonna take my little bait knife I like to cut that tail off throw it out chum the water a little bit now there's multiple ways to catch red snapper you can chum them up 
you can jig fish for them you can do a whole bunch of stuff the easiest way is either a chicken rig or one of these carolina rigs like i'm using so hook that through the hard part of that cigar minnow and we're going to drop that bait down again i want to make sure when it goes down it's not spinning or tangled up early in the season it's pretty easy to catch red snapper because they haven't been hit hard later in the season you do want to be a little bit more finesse but we're not worried about that right now yep see we're already getting a bite once you start feeling that bite with circle hooks you just start reeling oh and see just like that that circle hook will go in the corner of its mouth and you'll be hooked up <laughs> oh yeah that's a nice one it's ah, a really nice one let's get them up <laughs> that'd be cool if we got two baits two keeper fish come on oh yeah i think that's another keeper so we're into our top shot oh big old bottlenose dolphin this is a nice oh come on get them up before the dolphin gets to them and this is a nice keeper red snapper and that's my one man limit right there which is crazy i've only been out here for like five minutes at the most fishing and i'm limited out on red snapper this is my second fish of a one-man limit you're allowed two so i cannot keep any more red snapper but the good thing is we can keep on fishing for other species there's bee liner mangroves kingfish there's a whole lot of stuff on this reef but check that out circle looks perfectly in his mouth what a gorgeous fish he's very dark red that is awesome now it's time to try to catch us a mangrove or bee liner so i'm just going to take this cigar minnow another frozen one and what i do is i let them sit on my ice overnight and let them naturally kind of thaw out but they're still chilled and now i have two cut pieces of cigar minnow and this is going to be on my inshore setup it's a little dropper loop kind of like if you ever pompano fish off the beach it's the same concept what i have here is a little chicken rig or double dropper loop rig i have my main braid which is 15 pound coming to a black barrel swivel this is 30 pound Yazuri fluorocarbon leader. I tie a dropper loop just like I do on my pompano rigs with a two alt Gamagatsu inline circle hook, non stainless. Come down about a foot, have you another dropper loop, come down another foot, and then tie you a big loop so you can put your bank sinker on. I like a two ounce because I'm fishing light tackle, but, but your current and depth will determine what sinker you use. So, this is a great way of picking up some additional fish once you get your limit of red snapper. And then if I do catch any reds, I have a descending device ready on the deck to let them back down. So what I like to do, take this circle hook, my frozen cigar minnow, run it through just like that. It's as easy as this. Do the same thing on the top hook. And we're gonna drop this joker down. I'm on the bottom. I just like my weight resting right on the bottom. Keep that line fairly tight and then just wait for a bite shouldn't take long all right there's our first fish on the cigar minnow it's not fighting very hard i should say cigar minnow cut bait on the light tackle but obviously y'all probably already knew that so here we go oh that's a soap fish Ugh. these things are cool but if you touch them, it's kind of like rubbing Dawn dish soap onto you. That's why they call them soap fish. I don't like touching them because of that. But see, if you rub their slime, it kind of gets a little soapy looking. These are neat. They're, they make good grouper bait, good snapper bait. But we're going to get him back. There he goes. Get on another piece of cigar minnow. The bottom one's still good. The top one's a little torn up. All right, let's make another drop. It's hoping for a bee liner, but liners pull a little harder than that oh all right that's a, feels like a much better fish than a soap fish i'll tell you that mm. let's go ahead and get them up extremely fine on a little light tackle like this because mm. you can catch some quality species as long as the sharks aren't around or too bad and you play them out good. Come on. A pretty good fish. Just got to bring them up from 90 something foot down. Are you a red? Oh man, I got to let them go. 
It's a red snapper since I already have my limit. We have to unhook them, quickly put them on that descending device. This one's set at 50 feet deep. So all you do is clamp that sucker in and you can get these free if you take that little class online at rigamright.org. But it's gonna bring that fish down and then those jaws are gonna release at 50 foot. And see, we got past the dolphin and then that fish will be repressurized down there. I think they said it's a 70% survival rate, which is much better than just throwing it out and letting that sucker float or venting it and one of them bottlenose dolphin eat it. Let's see how the jaws opened up and that fish was released. So everything's still good. The hook's still strong. The leader's not frayed. I'm gonna rig some more cut bait up on this double draw. There we go. See, you can still catch sizable fish on a powerful inshore rod like this. As long as you have some braided line, because it's very strong. If the sharks are bad, or if you're getting broken off a lot, there's no sense to just keep on throwing something light, change your gear. But in this scenario, they aren't right now. And so this will be a great way to pick up some additional fish. Oh my gosh. Mm. Dang. I'm gonna assume that one's a red snapper because just how aggressive he hit it. But it could be a mangrove as well. Wow, that was cool. He vapor trailed that line. <laughs> That's why I like the medium heavy setup. <clears throat> For this scenario, is that a red? No, that is a big mangrove snapper and that is a keeper. Yes, <laughs> that is so cool. Check out that mangrove snapper, otherwise known as a gray or black snapper. These things you can keep year round. They don't have a closed or open season. It's open year round. They only have to be 12 inches. This is a perfect keeper. Delicious eating fish. Personally, I think they're a little bit better than the red snapper, but you know, they all taste great. So that is awesome. That's why I love throwing these little double drop rigs because you can pick up some additional fish once you get your limit of reds. That is awesome. He's gonna get spiked and thrown in the cooler. What a gorgeous fish. Now those mangrove snapper, you're allowed 10 of them a person. The only caveat to not having an open or closed season, you still have to have a reef fish endorsement for the state of Alabama. It's another one of those things, I don't make the rules up, but you just don't wanna get caught with snapper. Even from a pier, the beach or the jetties or seawall, you still have to have a reef fish endorsement for any reef fish, even if you're not reef fishing. So it's an additional $10 if you're a resident on top of your normal fishing license. But at least the money goes towards these reefs, but it is another one of those things that it is what it is. So I'm back down on the bottom with some more cut cigar minnow. See what else will happen here. Oh, I got a cigar minnow behind the boat just on a king rig. Something's messing with it back there. It might have took it off. I don't know yet. No? Alright, we have it. There we go. On the king rig. Let's see. I always like to free line a bait behind the boat. Because you really never know what you can pick up this way. Pick up a lot of cobia, mahi, king mackerel, spanish and even big snapper. I'm hoping this isn't a snapper. I'm hoping it's something a little different. Let's see, is it a bonita? Little toonie, kind of looks like it. No, it's just a big red snapper. Darn, I can't keep them because I already have my limit. I was hoping it'd be like a king mackerel or something. All right, man, we gotta let you go. Should be able to swim away. See, just like that, he's gone. But this is all I do. I have some 44 pound single strand wire and I run it through a four alt gamagatsu circle hook, small barrel swivel straight to my braid. Soak up a cigar minnow through the nose and toss it back out behind the boat. Now when I'm picking my cigar minnows out, I like to pick the ones that the bellies aren't blown out and they're semi straight for free lining. Now bottom fishing don't really matter too much, but for free lining, I like them to look 
fresh. So I was catching a bunch of red snapper over there. But some were small. Didn't manage any bee liners, which usually if you can't catch them on cut cigar minnow, you can drop down cut squid and slay them. But I've also caught some bigger ones on the cigar minnow. So now I'm just gonna be trolling, working my way back and see what we get. This one feels like another little toonie. You got them head shakes and the tail vibration just like you would from a black fin tuna or a small yellow fin. So we're gonna get them close. Ah. Heck yeah. And I love these little Shimano Speedmasters. This is a size 12 with 50 pound braid. Great for trolling. It's another Bobo. It's actually what I named my shit zoo after is a Bonita because we call them Bobos. <laughs> They're energetic, small, feisty little things. Look at that. <laughs> Golly, if I was in a kayak, he could take me back home. <laughs> Look at that. Ain't that funny? Oh, come on. Okay. Man, they're beautiful. I was hoping for King Mackerel. But I'll take him. I don't think he's going to come unhooked. So I'm going to have to bring him in. Ugh. There we go. These little bobos are great to use as cut bait for as well. But like I said on most of my videos, I save them and then make strip baits for trolling out of them. Really cool, pretty things. Y'all been slaying them? No. No? Oh man. What about you? I got my limit the first two drops, but I was fishing a little bit shallower. Now I'm just trying for some mangroves and bee liners, but see what happens. All right, it is time to bring in my trolling rig and call it a trip. So I'll see y'all in the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. So we'll see you later.